Okay, first up, I want to show Breakdance's granular WooCommerce checkout and cart elements. So here I have a checkout page built in Breakdance. This is a WooCommerce checkout page. And you'll notice I've added these icon bullet points here in this testimonial here. And the way I've done this in Breakdance is because we have these granular checkout elements. So we have this checkout builder element, and then inside the checkout builder, we've got the checkout billing form. We also have the checkout order review over here, and that's in a different column. That's how we were able to get the different background color on it. And then to increase the conversion rate, we throw in an icon list and a testimonial, just reassuring the user about the purchase, social proof. Um, and then we have the actual checkout payment form down here in the other column. And these elements are just included with Breakdance. You don't need an add-on to do this. Now, if you want to do the same thing in an element, or sure, you have a checkout element, but you don't have individual elements for each part of the checkout form like you do in Breakdance. So to do this in Elementor, you would want an add-on. You'd get WooLenter, and you'd use their checkout elements. They have the individual granular checkout elements. And that is going to be $299 per year for unlimited websites. But in Breakdance, you can do this with vanilla Breakdance, no add-ons necessary. Next up, Breakdance has built-in support for advanced custom fields, repeater fields. I'll put a link to this video somewhere in the description here, there, whatever. And this is a quick video, about seven minutes long. You can see how to use advanced custom fields, repeater fields with Breakdance, no add-ons necessary. Basically, repeater field lets you, it lets you manage content like CMS style. So, you know, advanced custom fields, you create a field group. I built this site with a bunch of houses, and then each house has rooms in it. This is like a real estate website and you have your template for your property listing and then you use a repeater field to display all the rooms and the rooms can have an image associated with them and a name of the room. That's all filled out in advanced custom fields and then we just design the template to display that in breakdance. Then the end result basically looks like this where it displays like a loop of whatever you've put in your advanced custom field repeater field. This is a pretty common thing you'd want to do when you're building advanced dynamic websites. To do it in Elementor, you would need an add-on. You could use anywhere Elementor Pro. They support ACF fields, and you get an unlimited site license to that for $2.99 a year. You could also use the plus add-ons ACF repeater support, and that would be $169 per year. Or you could use Breakdance. Again, tutorials in the description. This functionality is built in. All right, next up we have conditional element display. So here I am looking at Elementor's public GitHub. This is a feature request board. And here the number two requested feature I sorted by, like the thumbs up, is configure conditions to show or hide blocks or sections. So that's conditional element display. This was requested in 2018. It's now 2023, so I think it's been about five years since this was requested. And the second comment really sums it up. He says, the ACF integration is useless unless you can, at minimum, make sure the field actually has something in it. And that's a pretty valid point because sometimes you're going to have pages or posts on your site where not every single one of the custom fields is filled out. Now, what do you do? Like you want to display maybe a different layout if the post doesn't have an image or whatever it is. Anyways, that's why you need conditional element display. In Elementor, there's an add-on called dynamic.ooo. They have dynamic visibility. There are a number of add-ons for Elementor that offer this functionality. This one has it where you can like show or hide elements based on whether users logged in, what browser it is, whether a custom field has a specific value, I would think, etc. Anyway, if you were to buy this would be $199 a year for 1,000 sites, whereas in Breakdance, you don't have to pay for an add-on because it's simply included with Breakdance. Let me demo it right now. So I have this login form, and I probably only want to show this to logged out users. So I'm going to go over to the settings here for this login form, go to conditions, click edit conditions, add a condition, and we're just going to choose uh, user logged in status is logged out, and then apply conditions. Now this login form is only going to show for logged out users. Now I probably want to put like a link to the member portal. So let's add a button that says go to member portal. And we want this to only appear for logged in users. So we'll go here, we'll go to advanced, or sorry, we'll go to conditions, edit conditions, and same idea. We're just going to do user logged in status is logged in, apply conditions, and then this will only apply for logged in users. This will only apply for logged out users. I'll go ahead and give this a quick save, go to the front end, we can see I'm logged in. It says go to member portal. I'll go ahead and log out and then go back to that same page. And as you can see, when I'm logged out, I see the login form. 
Next up, I want to show Breakdance's dedicated header builder element. Now in Elementor, of course you can build headers without add-ons, but often you're going to need an add-on to do something like shrinking the header on scroll, or you're going to need a code snippet if you want to hide the he header when the page is scrolled down and then show it when it's scrolled back up. Breakdance says all that stuff is so common it should just be included. That's why we included the dedicated header builder element. So if you were to get a dedicated header builder element in Powerpack, it doesn't even do everything ours does. And let's take a look at the pricing. Unlimited sites, 119 bucks a year. And Breakdance, it's included. And let's take a look at what we can do with this vanilla stock Breakdance. So here we have a header. We scroll down the page, and it's not sticky. Let's say we want to make it sticky on scroll. We'll just enable the sticky behavior. It's now sticky on scroll. And of course, that's easy in Elementor too, but wait till you see this. Let's say we want to shrink it on scroll. Well, then we're just going to go to style, and we're going to set min height to, let's say, something smaller, like 80. And now it shrinks on scroll. Okay, let's say we want to adjust the scroll behavior. We want to hide it after, say, 200 pixels shrinks and then it just hides entirely let's say we want to reveal on scroll up we just enable that and then we scroll back up and there it is scroll down hide after 200 pixels reveal on scroll up that would take an add-on and a bunch of code snippets this is a hilarious one say that it does the job decently i have created the code to the best of my knowledge and the most important yeah, and then you have to pay $1.25 for the code snippet. And you got to be kidding me. Uh, this is included with Breakdance. Next up, I want to show Breakdance's WooCommerce Global Styler. This feature is not only going to save you money, it's going to save you time. So in Elementor, they don't have robust WooCommerce Global Style. So if you want that, you need a theme. And maybe that's $49 a year, $99 a year, $149 a year. But the price really isn't the factor there. It's the inconvenience of it. Because then if you want to go customize anything, you'll notice a lot of Elementor's WooCommerce elements have this warning that says the style of this widget is often affected by your theme. If you experience issues, switch to a basic theme. Well, if you switch to a basic theme, then you don't have the robust WooCommerce global styling controls, and it's going to take you much longer to make your website beautiful and look consistent. So let's take a look at how easy it is in Breakdance. Here I have a default Breakdance installation with WooCommerce installed. I haven't made any customizations of the styling except what I already showed on the checkout page. This is just a default cart page. This is a default shop page. Let's go ahead and customize it globally. So we're going to go to Breakdance and hit Edit Global Styles. And Breakdance defaults to this blue color, but let's say we want to make all of these purple. We'll just go to Colors, and let's set that brand color to purple. And now we've made everything purple there. Let's go over to the Cart page. And as you can see, the changes have taken effect on the Cart page as well. Let's take a look at the Mini Cart. Changes take effect there. Let's go ahead and customize the typography. So let's set that heading font to Antic Slab. And let's set the body font to Antic Slab as well. And as you can see, we've customized the font everywhere, including the mini cart, including the shop page, including an individual product page, including the checkout page. These global styles are going to save you a ton of time. It's not just about the money savings on the theme. It's that you're going to build a much better WooCommerce website. I'll link to a much more detailed video about the WooCommerce global styles somewhere in the description. Next up, let's talk about Mega Menus. So in Elementor, there are a number of add-ons available for Mega Menus. And here's one of them, and I'll demo that in a second. Elementor is also going to ship a Mega Menu Builder with Elementor. They have an experimental version now. It's not anywhere near what these add-ons can do, and it's nowhere close to what breakdances can do. But let's just take a look at this add-on. This is in the plus, and this isn't cheap, but it's not too bad. It's $169 a year, and at least you get some other functionality too. It's not just a menu builder. Uh, but let's take a look at this menu. So let's go down to one of these demos here. So here's one of the demos, and I'm going to use my keyboard now so you can watch my hand at lower right corner of the screen, and you can see what I'm doing. You can see that it's just not accessible. So we can actually tap through this, but if we press space, it just scrolls the page. If we press enter, it goes to the top of the page. It doesn't open the drop down. It completely fails accessibility. Uh, it just doesn't work, and this is pretty typical for the majority of the mega menus I've seen for Elementor. Meanwhile, in Breakdance, we have the built-in menu builder element that lets you do amazing mega menus super easily. They look great. You can drag anything you want into them, or you can just configure the links like this, and you don't even have to do any designing. It's amazing, and they're accessible. Let's go ahead and save this and take a look on the front end. And okay, so let's say I was going to tap through this menu, and I just clicked right there. You can see me tabbing right there. It works. If I press space, it opens. I can tab through the links. I can go shift tab to go backwards. I can hit escape to close the menu, shift tab back, tab forward, tab again. I can hit enter to open the drop down or space. This is properly accessible. It's included with breakdance. You don't need to pay any more money. 
Next up, Breakdance includes conditional form fields. So here I have a form built in Breakdance. We have an include fries option. And if I choose yes, we get another field that appears. Because I've chosen yes, it shows fries size. If we choose no, that field does not appear. Now in Elementor, that's not included with their form builder, so you would need an add-on. Fortunately, it's in dynamic.000, which you probably already bought if you were doing the advanced custom fields repeater stuff. And this will let you show or hide form fields conditionally. You got to write like the conditional expression in kind of a weird way like this and like that. Or you could just use breakdance. You go to your field you want to display conditionally. In that case, it's fry size. We go to advanced and we go to conditional. We enable conditional and then it's just when field include fries equals not equals is set is not set whatever. And then we choose a value. So when field include fries equals yes, that's when we're going to show fries size. So there we go. And of course, in the builder, it just grades it out so you can see what's going on. Now, if you were to buy an add-on for that, then $199 a year in Elementor. But included with Breakdance by default, no extra charge. Next up, I want to show some of the elements we have in Breakdance that you would need add-ons for in Elementor. Now, there's way more than I can show in this video, so check the link here, there, whatever, for a link to a more detailed video that goes into more depth on this. But for now, I'll just show a couple. So here we have Content Toggle. This lets you switch between different pieces of content included in Breakdance and Elementor. Maybe you can get the Nemogo content toggle. You can do the same thing. And you can buy it like this. Or maybe you want business hours. You can get ultimate add-ons for Elementor. Um, whereas in Breakdance, we just have the built-in business hours element. Whereas in Elementor, they don't. So you got to get ultimate add-ons. Um, I want to wrap this video up by reading this comment we got. This is on one of our Facebook posts. And Johnny writes... I just dumped Elementor on a few client sites and rebuilt with this in only a couple hours. Went from a 75 Google Lighthouse score to a 99 on desktop, and I dropped eight plugins that Elementor needed. Never going back. Anyway, that's a quick overview of a lot of the add-ons you won't need when you're using Breakdance. Again, we looked thoroughly at Elementor's add-on packs and their feature request board. We put a lot of that important stuff in Breakdance. Go to breakdance.com, check the link in the description to join our Facebook group. I could read you a bunch of comments from Elementor users who've made the switch, but they say it better than I do. So just join our Facebook group and ask, and they'll tell you. Okay, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and thank you for watching.